Hello, this is uh, one tower. Uh, this is um, serves understanding angles in serves. Um, what I'm going to explain here is uh, the type of angles that's going to get you the certain type of serves. This is a way for me to explain to young children, uh, young players, and old, um, what what is what is it that's going to make it um, capable of for them to actually serve on where they actually want to land it. And uh, one thing that I do is, uh, if you have a paint, which most of us do have, uh, what I like to do is, I'm gonna demonstrate something. You wanna land, most of the players actually hit the ball at either five to six feet. So I'm gonna put the ball right here. Now, if I want it to land the ball right here, which it is possible, okay, I would just go to the middle, push it up, and this will tell me the angle. I, I want it to be almost straight or like this. I want it to pass over. If I want to do it smaller, it wouldn't be able to do it. Okay. I would push it up until it doesn't touch, and that would be the angle. Okay. You can also do it higher higher this is for a complete drop if I do it this way see what happens it's not gonna land where it's supposed to so this is a trick that I use okay in case you you all want to learn this okay I'm gonna go ahead and erase it now let's say you wanted to land it uh, in the middle of the 10 foot line in the net remember you choose the middle okay and as soon as it goes over that's what you want it. now you can push it back as much as you can and it'll give you a different angle see and you can push it also forward okay now how which one of these ones are you going to choose it's going to depend on what type of serve you are one thing that i recommend to my players is um, I get them in between the 10 foot line and I let them serve inside the 10 foot line okay the uh, not underhand overhand and the idea is for them to be looking a little bit up and hitting it up and what they notice it as they keep doing this is that their body posture stays up facing up the whole time as they're serving and they and if you would give uh, here's what i recommend also give that student 10 balls at a time and don't pressure them on doing it real quick the idea is for them to adjust themselves to let them stay in that position looking up somebody has a ball they grab the ball they throw it up they hit it they grab the ball they throw it up and hit it because of course as you know um the less steps you can do in anything that you're going to do uh, the more consistent you're gonna be okay another thing that I like to practice uh, is to practice anywhere from inside the 10 foot line and anywhere behind the 10 the, the 10 foot area which I call the backyard so this type of serving also helps them in order to to um, break the mode of wh what how to serve you have to break the mode of what serving is and how serving is done. So, anyways, this is just an introduction on understanding angles. Um, but let me let me show you something. On a regular jump serve, on a regular jump serve, most of the ball falls at the backyard. So I grab the metal, and it's a quick drop, as you can see. Here's another one. Here's a, a sky ball. Sky ball, you want to actually point to this area right here. This is your main area. So wherever you drop, you're going to grab where the net is. You're going to pull it straight up to its highest point, And that will give you uh, the angle for the sky ball. Okay? You always have to give the... the the, the server a point somewhere a point 
to where they can actually serve okay so anyway uh, when in my book I give all this information it's all in all videos uh, I'm gonna have it out soon I give you a lot of practices that you can do to make you a very professional server also and all these little practice techniques that I'm pretty sure a lot of people also have this is just something that I do um, you never know what's out there uh, some of this is already existed uh, but this is what I believe in okay so uh, hopefully you enjoyed this small introduction to understanding angles